Hello guys, I'm Ryan, and in this video we're going to cover IB Calculus Chapter 5.9, which is kinematics, okay? So for this chapter, only the AASLs and AAHLs need to know this, and AIHLs, okay? AISLs, you do not need to know this, okay? So in kinematics, there are three best friends. Just like how in trig, we got sine, cosine, tangent, the three best friends. In kinematics, we got the three best friends of displacement, velocity, and acceleration, okay? Now, in symbols, or in mathematical symbols, how, how do we say displacement? is usually We usually use S, okay? And then velocity, we usually use V. And then acceleration, we usually use A, okay? So how do you get from displacement to velocity, okay? How to go from displacement to velocity? You need to D it, okay? So how do you D it? You need DS, and then you'll get V, okay? So mathematically, in algebraic form, V is equal to ds over dt, okay? Now, to go from V to A, what do you need to do? You need to d it, okay? So how do you, d how do you, how do, you do it in algebra form? A is equal to dv over dt, okay? And then the other way around, to go from A to V, right? You need to i it, so you need to integrate it. So if you integrate acceleration, you'll get V, okay? So what are these T1 and T2? You need to always, when you're Ding, you need D between two time values, right? So let's say, what is my velocity in between, uh, time at zero and time at two, right? So you'll take the, the graph of acceleration and then D it in between zero and two, okay? Now, how do you get, how do you get S from V, right? How do you get from S from, how do you get S from V? You need, you need to integrate V, okay? So if you integrate V from T1 to T2, then you'll get S, okay? So to give you guys an example visually, how, how would that look like, okay? So let's assume we have a velocity graph here okay we have a velocity graph here okay we want to find out that displacement in between time is one and time is four right so visually what is what does integration mean it means finding the area between the curve and the x-axis so we're gonna have this area plus this area that will get us the displacement in between time one to time four okay now moving on there's gonna be two main parts that students mainly get confused with okay so the first thing that students always get confused with is the difference between displacement and distance traveled okay in english displacement means how far you are from the starting point okay and the distance traveled is how far you moved in total okay so to give you guys an example let's imagine this okay imagine you're at your room right now that is your starting point okay you want to walk to your kitchen and then walk to the tv okay the kitchen is in this direction and to, towards your right and the TV is towards your left okay so how will you go to the kitchen to get a snack first and then watch a movie on your TV you have to walk to your kitchen towards the right for five meters and then walk back towards your left to the TV for eight meters right because why is it eight meters from here to here is five meters right and then from here to here is another five and then here to here is three right so what is your total distance traveled the total distance traveled will be five plus eight again five five three right so the total distance traveled is 13 meters okay now but what is your displacement displacement is how far you are from the starting point right where is your starting point you started at your room right and then at the end of the day you're at your tv right how far is the tv away from your room it is three three meters away right and it's in the left hand side direction so therefore you need to add a negative okay remember displacement velocity and acceleration all three of these things have a sign so you need this you need to say that the direction okay if tv was let's say three meters here right let's say if this is a tv then this will be positive three meters displacement but right now the tv is on the left hand side of the room right so it is negative three meters displacement because we we define the right hand side direction to be positive okay and remember in your test usually if they, if they don't tell you which side is the positive side right you can define the side that is positive okay so moving on velocity versus speed okay what does velocity mean velocity means how fast you're moving and in what direction okay and then the speed is how fast you're moving only okay we don't care about that direction so to give you guys an example let's imagine there's a car here okay if it's velocity let's say it's moving at 10 kilometers per hour then this will be positive 10 10 kilometers per hour for the velocity if the car is moving towards the left hand side then it'll be negative 10 kilometers per hour okay whereas if we were talking about speed then the car would be moving 10 kilometers per hour and 10 kilometers per hour remember speed is just how fast you're moving the direction does not matter whereas velocity the direction matters right that's why we have a negative here okay in algebraic form in math right in algebraic form how would it look like then their speed is the absolute value of your velocity okay so that's the basic concepts down let's try and concrete example from ib okay so i have here a question from may 2021 paper 2 of the ASL exam and from time zone one, okay? So let's say you're given, the question gave you the velocity function, VT is T sine T minus three, okay? So if we were to graph it, how would that look like, okay? To graph it, it will look something like this, okay? So whereas this is 10, 10, okay? Now, 
the first question is asking smallest value of t when the particle is at rest okay this is the velocity graph okay so particle at rest that means it's not moving at all right so obviously is the when the y coordinate is zero right so when the y coordinate is zero it's here or here but i want the smallest value so it's this one here okay so we can just use our calculators to find the zero you guys should know how to do that and then the answer of that will simply be six point so the answer of that will just be a uh, time is equal to 6.744, okay? So again, how you find this is you, you put this in your calculator. Again, this is paper two, right? So what you do is you put this in your calculator, right? You look for the first zero, okay, on your calculator. Then it should be 6.744, okay? And then because it's three sig figs, you need to write 6.74, okay? Done, part A done, okay? Next, part B. Find a total distance traveled, okay? How do you find a total distance traveled? If we think back here, we're given V, okay? We want to find distance traveled. So we're going in this direction, okay? So distance traveled is a brother of displacement, okay? Why is it a brother of displacement? Because they're related, right? Okay, so if we were to find the distance traveled, we know we need to integrate, integrate V, okay? But the thing is what? We said distance traveled, the, the direction does not matter, right? So if we just integrate here, Right? If we integrate, we're going to get this area, right? Okay? Now, what's the problem? The problem here is these air. So, the problem here is this area here would be negative. This area here would be positive. And then this area here would be negative, right? So, if we just integrate, if we just integrate um, 0 to 10, right? Because this is 0 to 10 of the velocity function, which is going to be t sine t minus 3 dt. If we just integrate like this, it will be wrong. Okay, wrong. Okay, why is it wrong? Because again, we're factoring the negatives and the positive and the negatives, which we do not want because we're finding the total distance traveled, right? We just want the positive values. Okay, so what you're supposed to do is use your brain to think. Okay, so from here to here, this is a negative value, right? So let's split it up. Let's split it up. We want to take the integral from here to here first, right? So we need a negative that. So that will be integral of 0 to. 6.744 right of t sine t minus 3 dt now we need this to be negative version because the area here is negative so we want to make it positive right and then plus the integral from 6.744 to um, 9.08837 okay so this second chunk here will be this part here so we just simply need to add it okay that second chunk here that second chunk this second chunk here it's already in positive area so we don't need to do anything and then finally we need to integrate from zero uh, 9.08837 to 10 of t sine t minus 3 okay dt and then this we need to add a negative here because this area here is negative area right okay so we need to make it positive so that's why we need to add a negative here okay so once you do all that the answer is 37.1 meters we know okay so the total distance traveled is 37.1 meters okay and then finally we have a part c okay find the acceleration when t is equal to 7 okay so let's look back at our notes here v we have we're given v we need to find acceleration so how do you go from v to a we need d it right okay so we need d this graph okay and we will find the value when it is at seven time is equal to seven so very simply we just need to do dv over dt so all you gotta do is you put it in your calculator right in your calculator there's a function that helps you solve for a specific uh derivative at a specific t okay so you don't need to do any math here algebraically with your hand okay you just put it in your calculator and the acceleration is equal to 5.93 okay meters per second squared okay so that's it for this question and that's it for this this video as well if you guys have any questions about kinematics put it down in the comments below and remember to uh, subscribe and give this video a, a like